Hey everybody, welcome to another Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. Today we're gonna to show you how to tie the Pink Pepto Squirmy Wormy. So the hook we're gonna to use today is a fire hole 718, and then we're gonna match that with a fire hole uh, matted tungsten bead. These are the new matted tungsten beads. This is the pink color from them, brand new at Avid Max. We're also gonna use a wax thread on this one, a UTC 140, helps with that squirmy wormy avoiding cutting into it. And then we're gonna have some weight on there. I'm using some 010 lead wire. The squirmy wormy material is this Castor Squirmido in pink. And then we're gonna do a little dub collar in UV ice dub pink as well. So we have our hook set in our vise there. I went ahead and put the bead on and wrapped some wire. This is the 010 lead wire. I did about 20 wraps on here just to add some weight and help get it down. Now I'm gonna come in with my UTC thread right behind the wire and secure it to the hook shank. And then we'll build up a little bit of a thread dam here to jump up onto that wire and make sure everything's nice and secure underneath. Once we're happy with that, we can work our way back here a little bit. On down the bend just slightly. Using that curvature for part of the profile of your worm here. So once we're at our tie-in point there, we're gonna take our caster squirmito material, or squirmy wormy material, and measure out how much we want sticking off the back, just a little bit past that hook shank in length. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with my thread just lightly here. Make sure we keep it on top. And I'll do two quick thread wraps on top. And then I'm gonna sneak in front and one quick right behind. I don't want to pull too tight on the wraps that are in contact with the squirmy wormy material because you will cut through it if you do. It's a very brittle material. So I like to do those loose wraps and then I kind of use those secondary wraps around it to keep everything locked in place. So once we've done that we can work on back to the front, give ourselves a half hitch and begin to wrap our material around our body. And we'll just do four or five wraps up to where that bead is and then we can capture it off and again just loose wraps to capture it and then I'm going to come back in with some dubbing after I clip this out and that'll be what I really kind of pull down with to secure it all off. So we'll get this ice dub, this pink ice dub which matches this perfectly Leaves you with a nice pink worm. And we'll go right on top of that material and then we can actually bite into it and make sure everything is nice and secure there. Just like so. From there all we need is a whip finish. And you have a very effective, nice little pink squirmy wormy. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.